taking on. She's got to, oh, and it was a different blade. It shattered. That's the back of the pussycat cherry picker. The circular saw with the hammerhead. Great hammer came down. And again, what a way. It's our robot pussycat. And I'm Robin. That's David. And there's Robert. It's quite an unusual design, as you can see, because it's got an aluminium body, some polycarbonate, four wheels, one diamond-coated saw. The idea is that the whole thing flips over. It can flip either way, and it just keeps going, hoping to do quite a lot of damage. Roboteers, stand by. A strange-looking pussycat. Now, there you can see rolling forward to bring the circular saw into play, and the circular saw immediately attacking the side of Hammerhead, which looks ponderous at the moment. Sparks begin to fly. They're in the pussy cat controls. They're purring. And again, the cat here, oh! Using not talons and claws, but the circular saw, but the Hammerhead, great. Hammer came down. And again, what a wise tactic. Let's attack the arena floor, boys. No, 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 it's not the idea. You attack the other robot and the house robots, not the arena floor. And now they're stuck. And the pussycat team could come in here and wreck havoc. Pushing and shoving and bumping Hammerhead. Hammerhead digs in, traction on the arena floor. It's pussycat doing all the pushing, all the attacking. Ooh, meow, meow, you could be in pain, Hammerhead, if you go into that pit. And into the pit goes the shark. The Hammerhead Six. plums to the depths. Well, there's pause for thought. Pussycat wins. Two. There's Pussycat. One. Activate. Let's roll over to get the diamond saw into play immediately against the wedge front of Cassius, but don't forget the flipper lies within that wedge front. That's the back of the pussycat cherry picker. Cassius won't want to go on the flame pit. Controls, of course, protected by the polycarbonate shell, but could burn out if torched. Great shunting and bashing and barging going on. Pussycat trying to right itself. The Sremek technique. Brought into room, but one but Cassius into the pit backwards. Six. So we'll see. Can they get themselves out, or did it go in sideways? That's the first time we saw the great CO2-powered spike lunging out. Now they went on the drive, misjudged, went into the pit on its side. They won't get out from there. What a shock this is. Cassius 2 have gone. Well, shock all round. Cassius 2, my personal favourite, goes out. The winner is Pussycat. Remy Idris, Darren Ball and Graham Warner, the team captain, Three, and Pussycat, two, Robin Herrick, David Gribble one. and Robert Bittington. Activate. And there immediately, Pussycat flipping up and over so that they can bring the diamond saw into play. Scott's revenge, the main weapon is that powerful scoop on the front. Pussycat turning again to bring the blade in. Is that the same? Is that the same blade? Maybe they've... Uh, they put another diamond blade on there, a diamond saw blade. Certainly looks darker than the one we had before. Taking on... Oh, and it was a different blade, it's shattered! It's a completely different blade, and they could be in trouble here now, Pussycat. Scudder's revenge on the attack. Look at this, the blade shatters against the arena wall. And not only could they be in trouble from Scudder's revenge, but they could be in trouble here with the judges, Pussycat. I didn't know. I don't think any of us knew they changed the blade and the rules and regulations quite clearly say hardened blades which may shatter are prohibited by Robot Wars. This is naughty now. The Pussycat team have done something they shouldn't have done. Scudder's Revenge are on the attack. They'll want to finish it here and then. We'll wait and see what happens to Pussycat afterwards, but back on the arena floor, it's Pussycat bashing Scudder's Revenge against the arena wall. Using the power there from the four wheels, the electric motors, two 750-watt electric motors. Oh, and look at this shove from Pussycat. This for a place in the series semi-final. And was there a, a, a waft of smoke we saw from Scudder's Revenge? 
Yes! The engines are smoking! It's burnt out Stutter's Revenge Immobilizer slam from Pussycat. It's not a well behaved cat, I can tell you, though. They shouldn't have changed that blade the way they did. Stutter's Revenge Immobilized now. Let Matilda in. Well, what an eventful heat this has been, and what an eventful heat final. Now Stutter's Revenge already smoking on the flame pit. Kill a lot, tossing it up and over. The Scutter's Revenge boys know their time is nigh in this heat final. I'm sure, though, someone is going to have words with Pussycat about the change of that blade. On to the big flipper on the arena floor, and that's Scutter's Revenge over and out. A smile, what a heat final. Laced with controversy, this is the way it finished for Scutter's Revenge over and out but it's gone to the judges because of the change of blades and Pussycat didn't realise they couldn't use hardened blades. We didn't know that they changed the blade. Because, right. Um, so it wasn't hardened to the blade because it shattered and they're forbidden the rules. So they're discussing whether it's an infringement big enough for disqualification, but we'll let you know when the judge made a decision. OK, thank you very much. Well, it's up to Martin Smith, Noel Sharkey and Adam Harper on the right to make that decision. What a shame it would be for Pussycat, great team. But look at this, this is where the hardened steel blade shatters. Pieces of that blade could have gone anywhere. It's clearly against the rules. Philippa, you have the decision right now. As it's a technical contravention and for health and safety reasons, the judges have had to vote that you'd be disqualified because the saw shattered and it was against the rules. And I'm really sorry to have to break that news to you because you have a fantastic robot and you've been a great team. But we'll have to let you go. We'll have to come back next year. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. Very good. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, shattering for them. It means that Scutter's Revenge go through by default, but will they be able to take their place in the semi-finals? Did the motors burn out? Will they be fit to continue? It all ended rather ignominiously, embarrassingly, can they go on? For you.